Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting is also known as DNA profiling. It is the process of determining an individual's DNA characteristics. Now let us discuss the principle of DNA fingerprinting. Only about 5% of DNA is used for genetic coding. Rest 95% of DNA are redundant or silent segments. They are also known as stutters or hypervariable regions or mini satellites. Of these redundant segments, there may be 200 to 14,000 repeats of each identical sequence on each DNA strand, which is called as repetitive DNA or variable number tandem repeats. The length, constitution, and number of repetitive sequences are different for each person and they are unique for an individual. They are, in fact, as unique as fingerprints to an individual. These repetitive DNA are stably inherited in a Mendelian fashion. It is important to remember that identical twins have same DNA fingerprinting whereas they have different fingerprints on digits. Now let us discuss the technique of DNA fingerprinting. DNA can be extracted from blood, semen, tooth pulp, bone marrow etc. This DNA is cut into fragments at specific base sequences by a restriction enzyme and this is repeated several times. The double standard DNA acquired are denatured into single strand. These single standard DNA fragments are separated by gel electrophoresis which spreads DNA fragments into bands. These bands are transferred to nitrocellulose sheets by southern blotting technique. The nitrocellulose membrane is then exposed to DNA probe which is radioactive phosphorus 32 which binds to core sequences. Then the X-ray film is put in direct contact with probe labeled membrane to detect radioactive patterns which appears as a series of 30 to 40 parallel bands. These parallel bands are unique for an individual. This is then compared with other samples. The chances of two persons sharing same sequence is extremely rare and it is almost impossible unless they are identical twins. This picture shows the process of DNA fingerprinting. We acquire the sample, then we extract the DNA, then we use restriction enzymes to cut the DNA into fragments, then we do electrophoresis to obtain bands. This is then transferred to membrane, then we incubate with labeled probes, then we expose it to X-ray to acquire DNA fingerprint. Now let us discuss the medical legal importance of DNA fingerprinting. It can be used to match blood on weapon against that of victim. Hair roots on weapon can be matched with blood of victim and accused. Seminal fluid from victim can be matched with blood of accused. DNA fingerprinting can be used to exonerate a person falsely implicated in a crime. Using DNA fingerprinting, we can establish paternity positively. It can be used to trace pedigrees. Identity of unknown person can be made by matching prints with suspected parents or close relatives. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.